in a third problem we are given with the fact that if alpha and beta are the roots of equation x square minus 2x plus 3 equals 0 then we need to find that equation whose roots are p and q where p is given by this equation and q is given by this expression now very foolish and a longer method to do this question would be to find both the roots of this quadratic equation alpha and beta and then substitute in this and this expression to get p and q and then find the sum of the roots product of the roots and then find the quadratic equation but this is a very longer method and they should not be applied instead we try to reduce this longer factor into simpler terms now p is given to be alpha cube minus 3 alpha square plus 5 alpha minus 2 and we know that alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 equals 0 since alpha is the root of this quadratic equation now we try to reduce this cubic term we can write this cubic term as alpha times alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 we try to create the factor of alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 which is the trick behind this question because we know the value of alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 as 0 so we try to convert all the cubic the square terms into the factor of alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 so we write this as alpha into alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 we write this alpha square as minus 3 times alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 and then we write the other terms which are left behind which are 2 alpha square minus 4 alpha plus 7 now we can clearly see that this is the expression which is same as the above given expression now we know the value of alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 as 0 alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 is again 0 and we are left with 2 alpha square minus 4 alpha plus 7 not the trick behind creating the alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 factor has proved to be very useful since this cubic term has reduced to this square term and this long expression has been redu reduced to this smaller expression now we can again write this as 2 times alpha square minus 2 alpha we can create plus 3 here and since this extra 6 factor has been created so we do it minus 6 plus 7 now we can again see this is equal to 0 again and p becomes equal to 1 so we can see that such a long term of alpha cube minus 3 alpha square plus 5 alpha minus 2 has been reduced to just a simple term of 1 by using the trick of creating alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 3 factor now in the similar fashion we try to reduce the term beta cube minus beta square plus beta plus 5 which is q beta cube minus beta square plus beta plus 5 now in the similar fashion since beta is the root of quadratic equation so we know that beta square minus 2 beta plus 3 is equal to 0 again so we try to reduce this cubic term as beta times beta square minus 2 beta plus 3 we try to reduce this square term again by writing it as beta square minus 2 beta plus 3 and then we write the other terms which are left behind which are 2 beta square minus 4 beta plus 8 this is the value of q now we know that this is equal to 0 we also know this is also again equal to 0 and we are left with a pretty simpler term which is 2 times beta square minus 2 beta plus 8 now we can again write it as beta square minus 2 beta plus 3 and since we have added an extra 6 factor we subtract 6 and add it as this now this is again equal to 0 and we can very clearly see the longer term of beta q minus beta square plus beta plus 5 has been reduced to such a simpler term of plus 2 so in actual so in reality the actual roots are not the longer alpha q minus alpha square terms and the beta q minus beta q beta square terms instead 
द रूट आर पी इक्वल्स वन एंड क्यू इक्वल टू सो द सम ऑफ द रूट इज थ्री प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रूट इज टू सो द इक्वेशन इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स टाइम्स सम ऑफ द रूट प्लस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रूट इक्वल जीरो विच इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस टू इक्वल जीरो so in this question we learned a very important trick that instead of finding out the values by a sum and product of the roots of the roots of the equation we have reduced the longer terms into simpler terms by using the trick of creating the factors of the roots which were equal to 0 and hence the final result is x square minus 3x plus 2 equals 0 is the desired quadratic equation